I'm Anil Kumar and now let us understand what are trigonometric identities. To start with, I have excellent question here. It says, explain if the following are trigonometric identities. A. Sin x equals to square root of sin square x and B is sin x plus cos x whole square equals to 1. Now I've purposely taken this question since it explains us two concepts. One, what are trigonometric equations and what are trigonometric identities? So with the help of this question, we'll understand that also, the differences between the two. Now as you can see, both of them, they have equal to sign and they have trigonometric ratios. So both of them are trigonometric equations. Now identities are one which are true for all values in the domain of the function, right? So those are the identities. So we have sin x equals to square root of sin square x. We need to prove that it should be true in the entire domain of x. Sin x plus cos x whole square equals to 1. If it is an identity, we have to prove that it should be true for the entire domain. That means all x values, right? If it is equation, it will be true for some values, not all values. So that is how we distinguish between equations and identities. Okay. Now, as you know, sin x, on the face of it, it looks like same thing, right? And that is a huge mistake with many students who will do. Square root of anything is always positive. However, sin x, you know, is positive in quadrant 1, since all are positive here, sine is positive in quadrant 2, but tan and cosine are positive in quadrant 3 and 4. Sine is negative for any value of x which is between 180 degrees to 360 degrees. However, if we have the same value here within the square root, I will get a positive value, right? So, so that means left side will not be equal to the right side. So, by giving some examples, we can show that this is not an identity. We call them as counter examples. So, even if I give you one example, which says that left side is not equal to right side, in that case, it is not an identity, right? So, as you know, in general, if angle X is greater than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees in that case we expect negative value of sine right so we know sine of x is negative correct but during this interval square root of sine square x is positive and therefore they are not equal so what you can do is you can take any value let us say we have sine of, let us say, 200, right? You can use 200 degrees and then check what is the value. So if you use your calculator, you'll have sine 200 equals to, we get minus 0 0.87, minus 0 0.8732. Now if I use the same value here, I say square root of sine of, 200 within bracket and then we square this right and equal to so what we get we get square root of sine square 200 as equal to plus 0 0.8732 correct since these values are not equal we say that sine x equals to square root of sine square x is not an identity. I hope this point is clear to you, right? You could take any value, correct? So good values for you to take could be those which form special triangles, right? For example, what is sine of 300 degrees? You'll find it is actually equals to negative of square of sine square of 300, right? So, 
So that is what you will find. So it is not true. Do you see that? This is negative of that rather than being positive. Correct? So this is not an identity. It is just an equation. Right? So this is one way of proving whether the given equation is an identity or not. Identity is true for all values. Now let's go to the second part and I'll prove that this is not an identity by simplifying the expression on the left side. Now that is also a way of proving identities. So if we say it's a trigonometric identity, then we need to prove that left side is equals to right side for trig identities, right? So let's begin with the left side. So we have left side as equals to sin x plus cos x whole square. Now let us expand it. So what do we get here? We get sin square x plus 2 sin x cos x plus cos square x. Remember that a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now of course we can combine sine square x and cos square x well, and we'll rearrange this, right? So we have 2 sine x cos x. Reason for bringing them together like this is that, you know, sine square x plus cos square x is 1. So it is 1 plus 2 sine x cos x. So what we see is that left side is 1 plus 2 sine x cos x and so it is not equal to the right side, which is just one, correct? So it is not an identity, right? However, it is a valid equation, which can be true if sin x to sin x cosine x is zero. That means it is true for only few values, right? So as an extension, as an extension, you can show that this is an equation, so this is an equation whose solution is x equals to whenever sin x and cos x is 0, right? So, which is n times pi by 2, where n belongs to integers. So, it's true for 0, it's true for pi, pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, all those values, but not for all the values, right? So, for a counter example, you can take x equals to, let us say, 45 degrees, right? In that case, I, I should have written, for some students who are not doing radians, I should have written x equals to uh, 90 degrees times n, right? So, 90 degrees times n, where n belongs to integers, right? So, it is not true for, it is true for only values like 0, 90, 180, 270, 360, all those values, right? But not for any other value. So if I write x equals to 45 degrees, 60 degrees or so on, so that will not be true. So these are called counter examples. So these will be counter examples. So to prove that it's not an identity, we could just substitute one value of x and show that this left side is not 1 and therefore it is not an identity, right? So I hope you understand the concept. So as we move forward in solving or proving trigonometric identities, we basically uh, will prove that left side is equals to right side for all the valid values of the independent variable x. And if it's not so, then it is not an identity but just an equation. I hope that's clear. Thank you.